Hey folks, we are going over chords for the song Cornerstone. Uh, we've played it in the key of A. Uh, we are capoed in the second fret, so um, all the chords we're going over are G chord shapes, all right? So there are four main chords. It's a really simple song. Uh, we're gonna build these chords first, and then we'll go through the whole structure of the song with the chords. So the first chord we're doing is the G major chord. Um, the way you wanna build it is you put your uh, second finger on the sixth string in the fifth fret, all right? Then you're gonna take your first finger, put it on the fifth string in the fourth fret, just like that. Then you're gonna take your pinky, your fourth finger, and put it on the first string in the fifth fret. And right on top of that, you're gonna add your third finger on the uh, second string in the fifth fret, all right? So that is your G chord. <laughs> Nice and solid like that. The next one you're doing is a C. We're actually doing a variation of C. Uh, when I play in the key of G, I like to keep my chords as close together as possible. So this C that we're doing, we're actually gonna keep your fourth and your third finger right where they are. You don't move them. And then you're gonna actually take your first and your second finger and just move them up a string. So your first finger goes on the fifth string, fifth fret, and your first finger goes on the uh, fourth string, fourth fret, all right? Nice and easy. And that is your C. And of course, as said in other videos, when you're playing this C chord, you really wanna avoid strumming this bass string. So either get real accurate with your pick and work like this, or with your second finger, you want to, as you're pressing down on the fifth string, you wanna just barely touch the sixth string. So just deadens it a little bit so that when you strum, you're not gonna hear it. And you'll be playing like a pro. All right, the next uh, chord that we'll be doing is the D chord, all right? So what you're gonna do in the fourth fret on the first string, you're gonna put your second finger. Uh, fourth fret, third string, put your first finger. And then fifth fret, second string, put your third finger. Just like that, right in between. And uh, when we strum a D chord, you wanna keep it to the bottom four strings if you can. It doesn't really matter if you hit the ones above it, but this is gonna get you your clearest D. So when you're working on your strum patterns later, you're really working on your accuracy down there. Uh, the fourth chord I wanna show you is the E minor chord, all right? And we're gonna use it, uh, we're gonna build a chord that's really similar to the G and that C that we did earlier. So I'm gonna start you with your fourth finger in the fifth fret again, your third finger in the fifth fret on the second string, and then we're gonna build your E minor down here. So uh, second finger goes on the, what is that? The fourth string in the fourth fret. And then your first finger goes on the uh, fifth string in the fourth fret, just like that. And you can play all six strings nice and confidently with that chord. So those are the four chords that we use in this song. It's really straightforward, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, there are a couple chord variations I wanna make you aware of. Um, in the first verse, the third chord that you play is a D chord. And when I get to that D chord, I like to keep my pinky on the first string in the fifth fret, and we make that a D suspended. Even though the, the sheet music might not say it, the reason I do that is because it keeps it real similar to that G and C that you just played. And it, it sounds really, really nice. So especially right there, that third chord in the, in the first verse, that's a great place to put a D suspended. The other variation that you'll be playing, uh, when you get to the chorus, uh, on the chord chart you'll see that it says G over B. And whatever, whenever you see that, that is called an inverted chord. And what that is, the second note that you see, that B, becomes the bass note of that chord. So even though we're building a G chord, you're gonna be using your B note, which happens to be your first finger on the fifth string. That is a B note right there. That's gonna be the bass note of the chord. And it's gonna sound like this. Now the good news is, you're gonna have a real fancy bass player playing with you that uh, is gonna be able to play that B note real solid. So if you can't remember to play the inverted chord, it's okay, you can still play your G chord. But if you're playing by yourself and you wanna really hit that accent there, Play your G over B, which basically you're just taking your, your middle finger off and you're just playing just like that. All right, thanks for watching.